my name is Erica Ledesma. My degree is in interdisciplinary studies, early childhood through sixth grade with a specialization in reading. Um, well, initially I was shocked and overwhelmed and full of emotion. Just a really big honor to be chosen um, out of everyone um, in my class, all of my peers. Everyone's worked very hard, so to be selected as the one was a very big honor. As a student, it's my hope that I can take my knowledge and experience into the classroom and really help my students seek out their own answers and find the value in learning. Being a wife and a mother and a daughter while attending school did come with its own set of challenges. One of those being balancing my work and school life. Uh, so many times what had to happen was I would start school after my children went to sleep about 8 p.m. and I would stop doing my work about 3 a.m., 4 a.m., just whenever I was finished, just to wake up at 6 in the morning to do it all over again. I think it's her perseverance. Uh, I think she's very um, goal-oriented. Uh, she loves making checklists, uh, just with speaking with her and the way that she communicated and how she always said, okay, I'm going to put this on my checklist. It's going to be my goal for tomorrow, which is wonderful. As a student here at the Island University, um, all of the professors that I've had were really accommodating and helped guide me through my um, education. Many of the classes that I attended were virtual, so they did offer virtual office hours. Many of them did go above and beyond and allowed students to contact them out of those hours. We had concerns or needed some guidance having to juggle that part of her life as well as school for herself and testing and everything that encompassed, that's definitely something that showed her resiliency in being able to handle all that. Well, I've been married for 13 years to my husband, Tony, and together we have two boys, Christian's 11 and Dylan's 12. And I'm also really blessed to have both of my parents in my life. Throughout this whole journey, they've all been really supportive and offering words of encouragement and support and they've really been just the glue that's held me together and I don't think I've been able to do this without them. Advice I'd like to give for students attending the Island University or thinking about returning to school is no matter where you are in your life, it's never too late to make your dreams a reality and become an Islander. I'd like to say a special thank you to my family, to my husband, to my boys, Christian and Dylan, to my mom and dad. Thank you for all the love and support you've shown me. This one's for you.